Hey friends, today we are hanging out at the Magic Kingdom. It is November 1st and it is 7 o'clock in the morning and Disney invited us out to be some of the first guests to be able to see all the holiday decorations here at the Magic Kingdom. I hear tell that the Jingle Cruise officially opens today along with all the Christmas decorations and the Christmas tree. Anywho, let's go do this. I cannot even believe how many people are here at 7 o'clock in the morning. The park doesn't officially open till 9 a.m. And look at this rope drop. I mean, people are excited for the holidays. Did you hear that jingle bell, jingle bam? That you can see they got garland on the train station, garland on the popcorn carts, they got the wreaths and the garland all over City Hall. It is ready. I mean, we are here. Disney has gone full on holiday mode and I'm excited for it. Look at all the happy people actually heading on into the Magic Kingdom. So excited to see the Christmas tree and this is so amazing. I can't wait to walk down Main Street USA. Look at the line right here for people to get their photos. Like this all happened like within like a five hour period. Last night the pumpkins were everywhere and some guests when they were walking in like you can hear them like gasp because they were so shocked and I love it. I love it. I love it so much. Honestly, I was a little bit worried about actually wearing my Santa Mickey hat, but I brought my hat just in case and it's not too hot out. It's actually in the 70s and it's beautiful, it's chilly, and it's the perfect temperature to actually switch over to the holidays. Now we're gonna make our way down Main Street USA and I am so excited. Like, uh, holidays are my favorite time of the year. My birthday is in December, actually December 19th, so I'm a Christmas baby and like this stuff just gets me so giddy. All the ornaments and I can't wait to see it at night. It's gonna be beautiful, but look at that tree. Look at how awesome the Carrollwood Pacific Railroad is underneath the Christmas tree. So many cool nifty things. I like this little pink car right here. Kind of looks like a Mr. Toad's Wild Ride vehicle. A little bit larger though. And I'm just pumped. I am excited for the holiday season. And just to see this bad boy all lit up at night. It's going to be impressive I have to say. The park isn't officially open yet. Uh, we're still in the rope drop phase. But you can actually look around and see some of the lights are actually lit a little bit. Can you see them? Like I can see them glow a little bit. I've seen a lot more in the train station. But yeah the lights are on and i'm just excited to see all the garland i am so thankful that disney invited me out to be able to see all the holiday decorations and basically just to let you guys know that the holidays are here and we're going to explore around the park like i said i think the jingle cruise officially opens today and also see if there's any other holiday festivities that we can find i got my uh 2019 Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Magic Band and uh, this is the last Christmas party that I went to. I'm excited for the after hours though because they are bringing back the full perimeter fireworks. They actually have a parade and a stage show so it's going to be a lot better than Boo Bash and that's just around the corner. November 8th is the first night so the holidays are here like I said. Look at that beautiful view. Which way do you look? Do you look at the tree or do you look at the castle? Let me know in the comments which one you prefer. Like when you come for the holidays, do you stare at the tree more or do you stare at that big beautiful castle? I can't wait to see if that gets all lit up too. We are gonna wait out here in the hub for a little bit. The stage show is set to happen, I believe uh, in about 15 minutes. Ooh, and they actually have garland going around the actual stage. So there might be maybe some holiday twist to it. I know right now they were just doing their 50th anniversary stage show, but you never know. Magic Kingdom will be opening. It's time to make your way to Cinderella Castle for a very special presentation. Thank you. Oh boy, here comes the Dapper Dance and they're singing Christmas music. Wow. Thank you very much everybody. Thank you. Mighty kind of you. We're 
going to continue on now with a medley of songs we wrote ourselves by Irving Berlin. Let's try this one. You know, dancer and dancer and prancer and fixin' Common and Ajax and Pinesall and... Wait, 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 sir, 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 that's not right! Okay, four! It's calling you, magic calling you, magic calling you, Well, that was super awesome to see the Dapper Dan singing some holiday music. And it's also cool because it's kind of like a free entertainment. So if you want it more of like a holiday entertainment thing, uh, and you're not coming to the uh, very merry after hours, that's included. Like they just do that on regular park days. Now I think it's time we head on into the Jungle Cruise or during the holiday season, the Jingle Cruise. The only thing is, is the sign isn't up yet. That's a little strange, but we do know that the Jingle Cruise is happening. I'm not too sure if I'm going to be able to film the whole Jingle Cruise ride through, but I'll make sure to show you guys some of the queue, some of the decorations. It sometimes gets very loud in there because, you know, you have the boat motor going and uh, yeah, I mean, I'm just excited to be able to come here and enjoy the holidays. I'm going to actually go through the queue and show you guys some of the decoration in here. It is always well themed and I was a little shocked that they didn't have like the Jingle Cruise sign on the outside, but you can see they still have tons of Christmas decorations in here, even a Christmas tree. And we're walking up through the lightning lane, so I'm not too sure how much I'm going to be able to show over on this side, but I love it. Look at this. The lights are on right here. This is really cool. The Order of the Golden Piranha. I want to be a part of that order. <laughs> That'd be really nifty. You can also see that the huts are all decorated as well. And I love actually just looking at all the different names of the boats because they always have unique names, but they actually have holiday names during this season. We've got Eggnog Annie right here, which I love Eggnog. And then I forget what this one is. Oh, Mistletoe Millie. Mistletoe Millie is my favorite. My grandma's name was Millie. Well, Mildred, but a lot of people called her Millie. I called her grandma. They also have the music. I'm not too sure if there are any other ride overlays. I know in the past they've had like a Jingle Bell uh, uh, Space Mountain and then also the uh, Speedway actually had uh, Christmas decorations as well. So we'll have to check up and see if actually any of those started. You know what I love about these Christmas wreaths before you head into Adventureland? Is the golden pineapples on them. I mean there's a lot of fruit but the pineapples really stand out for me. Isn't that nifty? And they actually kind of look like something that would be in Animal Kingdom almost. Like, you know what I mean? Just the color of it. But I like them. I'm not usually here for the morning, so I think it'd be fun to actually see if we can get some Mickey breakfast. I know that they sell big Mickey waffles over at Sleepy Hollow, and that would be a fun thing to do. I think some of them have Nutella on them. I usually get the uh, waffle, chicken and waffle sandwich. But uh, yeah, a little breakfast on a Magic Kingdom morning during the holidays. Sounds like a great idea. The thing I love about Sleepy Hollow is the fact that they have gigantic Mickey waffles. You know how you used to get like the little tiny Mickey waffles? Well, they just have a big Mickey waffle. And I'm uh, never here early in the morning to try it. So today seemed like a great day. Today I'm getting waffles. It seems like most of the holiday offerings aren't quite ready yet. I thought maybe we'd have some holiday like treats or some merchandise, but uh, by tell of the Jingle Cruise sign or the Jungle Cruise sign not being converted over yet, that means they're still in the works of things and uh, it is a little bit hard to pull off Halloween to Christmas in like six hours. Here is a look at the menu, and like I said, they got the big Mickey waffle served with strawberries and whipped cream. You can also get the fresh fruit waffle sandwich, and that's the one that has the chocolate hazelnut spread. Or you can get yourself a funnel cake. They're all good offerings, and uh, I think I'm going to get a Mickey waffle. One of the things I always do is I get my Mickey waffle plain and then I get the strawberries and whipped cream on the side because at first I want to see the Mickey but then I get to like pour it all on there and I don't know why it's just so satisfying. <laughs> Got to fill in all the Mickey ears. 
Yeah, that's the way. Well, now it kind of looks disfigured. I should have asked for it like completely on the side. But just like any other Mickey food, ears first. Yeah, it's like a it's like a have to. Mickey pretzels, you eat the ears first. Mickey premium bars, ears first. And the same thing goes for gigantic Mickey waffles. I gave up on the fork and I just grabbed the Mickey ear itself. So here we go. Cheers. That is what I am talking about. So, so good. I'm missing my powdered sugar though, so maybe I'll just put some regular sugar on there. No, no, that probably is too much, too much. They do have syrup up there, so you can use syrup if you want it, but I'll stick to my strawberries and cream. Strawberries and cream. Now that we officially got our waffle fix, and it was a really good waffle. I like the bigger Mickeys, and uh, yeah, it was good with the strawberries and cream. Uh, and since we're right here by Sleepy Hollow, I think we'll head into the ye old Christmas shop and just see if they got anything new. Anything new, like for Christmas. Of course, we're gonna check the Emporium and see if they have any new merchandise that they might have put out today, but they have Christmas here all year round in the ye old Christmas shop. It is my favorite smelling merchandise location. It always smells amazing in here. Ah, yes. It could smell like pine trees. Also, those are the new ears. Very fancy. Looks like they have a couple new ornaments in here, but this one is one of my favorites. Look, it's the Pizza Planet truck, and you can see Buzz and Woody inside of it, and it also lights up as well. And a couple other ones that they have here, we'll try to find them as we go about, but the Pizza Planet truck, that's my favorite. Along with the Pizza Planet truck, I do have to say I am a big Quasimodo fan. And these are some new ornaments that they put in here just today. I like actually coming around and checking it out. Ooh, the Grace Mounts Detective, that's a new one too. These are from the Legacy line. And they all have different like legacy, like they have different lines, like fairy tale moments, then the legacy, and I forget what the other ones. Is that a B? Holy moly, it's a bee in the Christmas shop. Look at it, it's just doing its bee thing. Ariel, watch out. Oh, be very careful. Look at that. That is absolutely mind blowing. A couple of new Christmas pins they got. We got Chip and Dale, and then we've got Baby Yoda, and Chewy down here, and I'm not too sure what this one is. Is that Baby Groot? Season greeting, baby Groot? Yeah, I think yeah. so. As I was in the ye old Christmas shop, I heard Tink coming down, and I think she's wearing something different, like a Christmas time jacket. Look at that. I don't know if that's just for the holidays or if that's just because it's super cold out, but she's got a nice little Tinkerbell jacket on. That is really awesome. I've never seen that before. It's a pretty jacket. I think. <laughs> Before I was talking about how excited I was for the holiday after hours event and the fact that they're bringing back character like meet and greets But they're calling it character sightings where you're just gonna see characters out and about uh, And you're gonna be able to take like selfies socially distant And I think I found a spot that is actually gonna be where you're gonna see one of those characters for the after hours Or could be like regular hour like park hour days who knows Right here and in the past we would see a lot of different characters here like Jack and Sally and it's all decked out So I'm definitely betting that there's gonna be a character sighting that you can actually come up and take like a selfie And maybe like they'll have like a little uh, piece of tape here that tells you you can go this far But yeah, it's nice. It's nice that they're bringing things back slowly and steady I know it's been a minute or so since this actually happened, but can we quickly talk about the bee in the Christmas shop? Like, how terrifying would that be to reach for an ornament and get stung? Like, I didn't even talk about it. I was just too, like, captivated at filming it. But wow, that is mind-blowing. Now we're going to take a look down Main Street. I want to look at all the Christmas decorations. And also I want to see if they have any Christmas snacks or merchandise. Just around the park, we can always check the confectionery or Starbucks. And sometimes they have stuff out, but like I said, I think this is kind of a slow rollout to the holidays. One of the things I always have to ask is which do you prefer, Mickey Pumpkins or Mickey Wreaths? And actually this year, the Mickey Pumpkins disappeared and it was Cinderella Carriage, but the Mickey Wreaths are back. But still, I want to know, which one do you prefer? Are you Team Mickey Pumpkin or Team Mickey Wreath? 
I know it's tough, right? It's very, very tough. If I had to choose like as something that I could actually keep and like have at my house, I think I would be Mickey Pumpkin. I mean, I like the Mickey Reeds, but Mickey Pumpkins are way better. Oh, I hear the magic is calling, so that means another cavalcade is coming, and I think it's Mickey and Minnie. Blowing kisses at this life of ours and super enthused. I seen that mini blue kisses at both of you. Yes. Oh my lord. As I was just watching that cavalcade come by, I realized something. We can go see Mickey. He's obviously gonna be getting off that cavalcade in a second and actually going in to Town Square Theater and we're gonna be able to go see him. That's really awesome. I totally forgot that that is happening again. Before we actually go meet Mickey, I think we'll head into the confectionery, the home of distinctive treats and see if they have any distinctive holiday treats maybe. And actually, I think it's the first time uh, for me filming in here since they remodeled everything and opened it up. I mean, it is so much more like breathable in here, not so crowded at all, and I like that. Unfortunately, I don't think there are any holiday treats out yet. They do have a couple of special fudge, like fudge items here, like the Skittles fudge. I don't think I've ever seen that before, but that is probably actually really delicious. But take a look at this chocolate chunk cookie and it has chopped Snickers on top of it. That looks amazing. That's $6.49 for just one cookie. But it is the sweetest spoon winner, so it's got that going for it. I really like what they did with the confectionery. I mean, everybody can agree that the old style was very claustrophobic and it was very tight in there. And now there's so much room and you're not like shoulder to shoulder. Uh, and I think it's a huge improvement. But I need to know, what did they do with the party line? You know the phone that they had in the back there? Where did they move the party line to? I really want to see it actually end up somewhere per like somewhere where people can go and actually use it. So I hope they didn't just get rid of it. If so, I'll take it. I'll I will preserve the Disney magic. I was going to head on in and see Mickey because it looks like it's only a 15 minute wait, which is amazing. But I did notice that the princesses are up on the train station in their dresses and usually they're on the cavalcade. So it looks like a little bit of a switch up here. So maybe we'll go say hi to them real quick. Look at that. You don't normally see them up on the train station like that, but I think it's because the Princess Fairy Tale Hall is now open for a character sighting, so they can't be on the cavalcades and actually be in the Fairy Tale Hall at the same time, so they must uh, actually come from over there to here every once in a while. And look at it, it's all of them. That's really awesome. Where is the Fairy Godmother, though? I don't see her. Now we gotta put our mask on so we can go see Mickey, and I'm happy I got my Christmas mask on. Look at that, it's little Mickey gingerbread. <laughs> but seriously, how amazing is that, that it's only a 15 minute wait? Honestly, that is awesome. Ooh, also we have some Christmas decorations in here too. Very pretty. I like it a lot. So random, but that's not cobweb right there. That is just a single strand of someone's hair hanging on a light post. How funny is that? Like, how did it get up there? That's pretty far up there. I just kind of looked. I'm like, cobwebs, huh? But it's not. It's literally just a single strand of hair that just landed there. Crazy the things we're seeing today. Bees, hair, everything. Are you excited to see Mickey? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. This is my first time. It's your first time back? Yes, yes. Seeing him since he's back. Yep. Well, we just saw him on Main Street, but he came yeah, in here. Yeah, he came in here to meet with us personally. Yep, and he had to check the McDuck safe too. Look at this. The McDuck safe. Very important and secure. He had to make sure his treasure was still in there. Oh, we're here. Look at this. How awesome. Oh, I love this. Oh, we're going against the wall. 
Look at Mickey in his 50th. Very fancy. Hi, pal. How are you? You like my ears? I know, right? It's my Santa ears. Santa Mickey ears. Very cool. I love your suit. I love your... Yeah, it's very nice. Very iridescent. <laughs> Can we take a selfie? Yeah? Awesome. That was super awesome seeing Mickey. And very quick, like you don't wait at all anymore. And there was a lot of people there, but I think just the way that they have it set up, it just keeps the line moving very fast. After we actually left seeing Mickey in there, take a look at this Pete shirt. I have never seen this before, and I love it. Peg leg Pete. Wow, $36.99. I've never seen that before, or I've never seen this either. These are really awesome shirts. This is too cool. Anyway, I think with that, we're gonna call it a day here. We got to see all the amazing hol uh, holiday decorations, which is really cool to see like how they transition over like from Halloween to uh, the holidays or Christmas time. And they do it like within just a couple hours because the boo bash like ended at midnight last night and we were here at six, seven o'clock in the morning. So under eight hours and they're ready to go. I still think there's a lot more to come. Obviously more merchandise, more snacks, uh, even more decorations and uh, yeah, the yet it just started. November 1st, here we are, holiday season, ready to go and I can't wait to show you all the cool things. Can't wait to bring you guys along to the uh, holiday after hours event which is on the 8th. I'll be there for the opening night and we'll have a video for that going over it. I think it's going to be so much more better than Boo Bash just because of the fireworks alone. But Anywho, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you, Disney, for inviting me out. I had so much fun, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye! Before we actually take off, I do want to say hi to Eeyore, Piglet, and Pooh up on the train station. It's funny, we went in to go see Mickey, and all the princesses were up here, and then we came out, and uh, all of Pooh and his friends are here. Hi, Eeyore! Eeyore is my favorite. We need the Pooh, though. It's my mom's all-time favorite right there, but something about Eeyore I just love. <laughs>